What's up everybody? I'm going to show you a quick setup instructions for the ATR2100 microphone that I've recommended far and wide for podcasters. It's USB, plugs right into your computer and works instantly. No trouble and it sounds great. So a few things just on setup. So here's the mic. Obviously you can see that. Um, I have a, a screen. It's not a true pop filter, but it's a, a windscreen that I have on here. It tends to cut down on some of the plosives and some of the background noise, which is good. Um, you can see we have the on switch here on the front with the light. Um, obviously, you need to make sure that this is turned on for uh, actual recording. The light will stay on as long as it's plugged in, though. Be aware of that. And then the, uh, the other plugs and um, options are here on the bottom. We have the USB cable, which is here, which is what I've, I have plugged in. Uh, to use straight into your computer. Also, we have an XLR connection here to be used for a reg as a regular microphone in an interface or a mixer. We have a headphone jack for your headphones and then a volume knob which controls the headphone um, volume. So it's the output. It's not actually the, the gain of the mic. It's the knob that controls the, um, the, the volume of the headphones. So going back to the computer screen here, uh, when you first plug this thing in, if you need to adjust the volume, like I said, it's not on the mic. You have to go to the Apple menu and system preferences and then the sound menu here. And you're gonna see an input tab up here and then you'll see an option for the ATR USB microphone. Once that's highlighted, you'll see as you're talking into it, or if I'm tapping on it here, you can see we're getting some signal. And to adjust the volume, you just drag this slider up or down and get it to, it's different for every voice, so just get it to a comfortable spot. I find that uh, just probably about three-fourths of the way up usually tends to do the trick. If you're a loud voice, a little bit lower, you kind of have to adjust that based on how lo loud your voice is. Um, and that's all. Really, now when you use headphones with this thing, um, you can either run them out of your computer if you choose, or like I said, you have the, the headphone jack here on the mic, you can run them out of the microphone itself and adjust the volume here. The one thing that you wanna be careful of is when you're in a an app like, um, like GarageBand or Audacity or something doing a recording, I'll just pull up Logic as an example. Um, when you're setting your audio preferences here, you wanna just be aware of what your devices are. So the input device is obviously going to be the ATR, and the output, if your headphones are plugged into the mic, this should also be selected as the ATR, but if you want them plugged into your computer, then you need to change that to built-in output, and then you'll be using you know, a different device for the input and for the output. Just be aware of where you have the headphones plugged in, um, and then once the volume is adjusted, that's pretty much all you have to do to get the mic ready. Like I said, you plug it in, it works, you don't need drivers. It's a really convenient mic. So that's all you need to get rolling with the ATR.